This is a short presentation about managing conflict and the Thomas Kilman Conflict Mode Instrument. Thomas and Kilman identified a conflict handling grid with five management styles based on two dimensions, assertiveness and cooperation. In this instance, assertiveness is the level of motivation of the individual to achieve their own goals and objectives, whilst the cooperation axis is about the willingness of the individual to allow the other party to achieve their goals or objectives. There are five key styles. And these are avoiding, competing, accommodating, compromising and collaborating. The avoiding style is low on both cooperative and assertiveness. Usually the original problem is not directly addressed or resolved. There is a sense of ignore it and it will go away. It can be useful when an issue is trivial and may burn out of its own accord, or it is likely to have a very short lifespan. It can also be an option when tackling the problem in a more assertive way might cause more disruption than it resolves. This strategy can also allow for cooling off periods. However, avoidance can cause significant problems in the longer term, as a long-running issue is likely to build up resistance and potential resentment over time. The competing style is characterised by high assertiveness and low cooperation, with the participants seeking to reach their preferred outcomes at the expense of other individuals. This approach can be appropriate when quick, decisive action is required, such as emergencies. However, continued use of this style of co resolution is going to create resentment in the longer term. The accommodating style includes a high degree of cooperation. A person using this style will put aside their own goals in favour of the other person's. This behaviour is appropriate when they realise that their needs are less than the other person's, or when they realise that they have been in the wrong. However, taken this to extreme, this could be a lose-win situation. The compromising style occurs where there are equal levels of cooperation and assertiveness at a moderate level. This can be used where there is a need to find a timely solution and both parties have similar goals. It can also be used where the outcome has moderate or little impact. It should not be used as a long-term solution, however, as it frequently masks stronger underlying issues. The collaborating strategy is high on both the assertiveness and cooperation scales and is similar to a win-win scenario. Both sides creatively work towards a solution which meets the objectives and goals of all persons involved. And whilst this can create a, an ideal outcome, it can be a complex and time-consuming process to achieve. Each of these styles can be used in the right situation and it is a question of finding that right situation and the right style to use. So here are some questions. Which is your preferred style and why? When have you used one of these styles in the past? What might you have done differently? What will you do next time? When and how might you use these styles in the future?